tell me about robotic surgery. I didn't know robotic surgery could be done for somebody that's having prolapse. Tell me about it. Well, it's an amazing procedure. Um, robotic surgery, the type that I do, is one that fix, fixes when pretty much it's all fallen out or the top of the vagina, the vault of the vagina or the uterus, which is at the top of the vagina, has fallen out. And the way you fix that, it used to be that you had to do a big old abdominal incision in order to fix this problem, in order to place a Y-shaped mesh at the top of the vagina to pull it all back and attach it down to your sacrum or your tailbone. But now we can do this robotically. And robotics, for those of you who don't understand what robotic surgery is, is very specific and glorified laparoscopy. Now laparoscopy would be punching a couple of holes and operating with lights that are going in the belly. You got it. So you can just do that with a robot. Do it with a robot. Do you have to be techno skilled to do that? Well, I like to think that I'm skilled, but uh, it is amazing in the sense that you can go over to a console, put your fingers in this console, and move your hands the way that you would move them if you were inside the abdomen. Whereas laparoscopy, laparoscopy you have just forward and sideways movements. And so the skill that you can have with this and the detail that you have with this is so much better for the patient. Less side effects, less damage that way. How successful is robotic surgery for pelvic prolapse? Statistically, 98% success in fixing this. This is what we call the gold standards for fixing prolapse. When all other types of prolapse surgeries have failed, this is how we fix it.